guys did too. It's uh, it's been it's been a really interesting day. Um, I feel so full of life and um, inspired, and and this journey that I'm on is um, is one of self discovery, but it's also one of unearthing things that I've I've I knew were there and have always wanted. So um, I'm just I'm just absolutely blessed, and uh, I'm, I'm radiating a, a certain aura and, and energy that's it's it's really kind of amazing. So. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little piece tonight um, that's uh, kind of been my aura of inspiration and, and, and color of passion. And it's, it's red um, and, and it's, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So um, <clears throat> I'm also going to probably do something a little fun, um, abstracty after that. So um, we do have some of our abstracty pieces that we did uh, last night which were awesome, super inspired, totally different mindset tonight. Um, I'm thinking, you know, I did a piece uh, for a wolf um, before and I, I just, I'm resonating with that animal right now and, and just feeling its energy and um, its, its power. And so I really wanna kind of re retouch that idea. So <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of, kind of do that tonight. So we're gonna do a wolf piece um, and just, and, and feel its energy and, and its, its power. Um, and uh, yeah, and just feeling that. So we're gonna get you guys started here. So we got a 16 by 20 um, uh, white canvas, and uh, I think we're 16 by 20. It's pretty big for that. But yeah, let's do this. All right, so we are gonna uh, do kind of a moon glow. Um, this wolf's gonna be howling at the moon. I do have a little little wolf buddy up here that I took off of my last painting um, and kind of saw what I did there and recreated that. So I'm just gonna reference that real quick uh, if need be. So feel free to do that too for your guys yourself. You can draw right on the canvas if you'd like. Um, you can also, um, <clears throat> you know, draw a little complimentary piece to the side which you can totally look at and, and reference. And feeling that red aura and energy and it just uh it's passionate it's it's the fiery it's uh it's energy it's life um red to me is you know obviously a love color a love energy so I'm just gonna kind of feel that since it's, it's gonna be february here and we got valentine's day and all that stuff and for all you lovers out there afraid to uh to paint what you feel and, and and let your expressions just flow on canvas it's some of you that have never painted before it's definitely an, a very fluid expression to be able to do that and i'm very fortunate to be able to transfer my my passion and my my depth onto canvas when i feel it and it, and it resonates with me and i'm really feeling the energy of this tonight so why I'm doing what I do. <clears throat> okay, so we got a good, good layer going. Um, I am going to throw just a little hint of black into this upper corners. I do want this to kind of fade down. Don't want that to be just a, a radiant red glow everywhere. We're gonna add some darkness to this sky. Perfect, I love it. Um, 
Okay. So we got right below there. <clears throat> and we do have the white that we've thrown in here too. Um, we got a little of that red. So this one really kind of works. Some of this red into this pink here. We don't want a straight line. We want this to be kind of an ebb and flow. So we're going to work that right out into that that red area. Introducing Wag Blend that nice. Your best bud's at his best when he feels his best, which starts with what's in his bowl. Our recipes are formulated okay. with the help of veterinarians and include real meat, lentils, and peas without adding any grains. Try Wag Dog Food today and get 25% off your first trial bag. To learn more, visit Amazon.com slash Wag. That's Amazon.com slash W-A-G. I love definitely has this red feel to it it's got this red aura it's got some pink in there some black um, <clears throat> we are gonna have to feel our way through some of this black we need some pills you're going to see that we're going to use some elements of, of paintings that we've done before. Um, and some that are kind of new. And we're going to kind of incorporate some of those as we go along with this. So, that being said, we do have a sky, right? What does a sky like to have <clears throat> in our world, in our painting world? guys like to have stars, so set some stars. Okay. 
Okay, so since we <clears throat> did the, the stars, we did end up with a little bit down here and it's black, so I don't really want the ground to have stars. I'll go through that real quick. Even that out. We do, however, want it to have a little bit of highlighting here. I'm just gonna kind of throw some of this right in there. Yeah, I like that. buddy here. Get our little liner brushes. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Whatever I did with them. Here we are. I'm gonna grab a little bit tighter of a brush. a little bit shorter bristle on this just because I am going to be detailing um, you know it's not going to be a tree it's not going to be um, I want to be able to detail this little guy <clears throat> kind of where he's at with that so here we go I'll lay him out Like I said, just totally feeling the energy of kind of the, the moon and the wolf and 
kind of its its um, alpha pack, you know, leadership role, and and just kind of the feeling of you know that it gives um, as far as its majest you know majesty and its majesticness and and um, just kind of what that invokes in in your spirit and, and in your you know thoughts and the animals are just amazing creatures so. Time to do, time to do kind of a spirit animal here, and a lot of folks this will resonate with because you're like, wow, that's my spirit animal. I feel totally connected with this, and other people will be like, wow, that's just a really pretty color. <laughs> not, not to understand the depth of what in the heck I'm talking about. So I totally understand that, and that is totally fine. Perfect. Cool. I'm gonna throw some more black in here. I really just wanted that to be a highlight, not really a grayish color, so I'm really gonna kind of come through this again and darken this up. I really want this 
back side to be nice and black too. Right in here. This is the dark, you know, the shade, shaded side. to do just a hint of stippling with with um, a sponge kind of into this this realm here where um, spot um, kind of right in that area kind of where that shadow comes through that uh, highlight comes through right between his legs and you know we'll dab that in there just a little darker kind of closer to where he's at perfect cool we got the Wolf is howling at the moon. Cool, I love it. Single wolf. Now we're gonna add a totally new element that we haven't done before. Um, on a piece like this, um, we are gonna add some pine trees, especially off of this side. thicker towards the bottom um, didn't mean for the super black blob to be over here but it happens so
got some stars there that kind of got a little blobby on us. So we're going to darken that up with some black. Okay, so we do have um, some light in the sky, so we are going to want to throw a couple little highlights in on some of the side here. kind of on top of some of these branches. Bring it back, not super crazy. I don't want it to be like just blaring white at you like snow fell on it. It's really just kind of a reflection. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's got some wolf and some howling, some stuff going on. Yeah, I like it. Um, some reds. Throw some black on top of that. Cool. All right, so we're just adding some texture to some of this. doesn't look like it's just sitting up on a hill here. We have some red textures through it and some blacks. I'm just going to add a little bit here. Just getting a little bit of pinks in there just to add a different dimension, some color. to it. Cool. Now we're going to kind of do the same off on this hill. Texture to this hill it does have some highlights in it, which is nice. So it actually looks just like rosa grass, then uh, as opposed to one blobby looking, you know, thing. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Definitely got some colors and texture. Wow. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think? Like, 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 like. this time. There is our lone wolf. And that kind of almost has a feel like it's a female calling to her male, you know, to come home and she made dinner for him or something. <laughs> you know, it's got that feel like, uh, come home. So I love it. And that definitely speaks to the heart. So 
<clears throat> we added a couple of different elements that we don't normally do um, on a piece like this. I've done it before where I have not added any trees, um, but here we are. There's our red sky with some stars in it, and we have the element of you know some trees on the one side and the lone wolf on the other, just calling out to its mate. Um, yeah, I love it. It's, it's super cool, super inspired. Um, it's very passionate. Um, I just just got this feeling, you know, of I got this feeling inside of me, you know. It's just um, it's resonating, and, and and I can't I can't deny it. It's undeniable. It's just it's it's in me. So uh, I needed to get that out, and I feel really good about that. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's kind of stick with the. Tonight. We're gonna jump right into another one here. Um, I've been just really loving this this Northern Lights feel, um, and uh, I really wanted to, to kind of do that again um, with a little bit different color. Um, you know the the Aurora Borealis type feel, um, the purple and the and the teal. Just man, that just really really says something you know to you. So. Um, here we go. I think we're gonna just jump right in and we'll kind of get after it, this one. Um, gonna be very similar to one of the ones we've done the other night. I'm um, trying to think of, you know, what we wanna do for that color. I mean, I just I really love the colors we've been using with um, those teals and the purples. So I think we should just do that again. Kind of see if we can uh, improve on that at all. Um, I really love that. I'm gonna throw some pinks in the sky, some hot pink. Uh, that'd be super fun, huh? Okay. So, we got our, our teal. We got our purple going here. Let's see how that looks. Cool, I'm gonna rinse these brushes off real quick. And, uh... Always on the lookout for the next big thing? One. We are too. Amazon Trend Report is a new feature that brings together the season's top trends with a curated, shoppable list of products customers love. Our first report, fitness trends. Just visit amazon.com slash trend report. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides and Sarah V. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've gotta have each other's backs. Sarah V, now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Just ask Alexa to add Sarah V moisturizing cream to cart. Everybody's having a good night, had a good eats, got a good dinner, had a good day, good conversation with people, you know, I mean, definitely helps. You can definitely get into the right, uh, right mindset for your day, for your evening. want to follow along too I mean you get when you get a little bit lower horizon than right in the middle we're gonna have our horizon down there so I'm working that purple in there all right so um, a little bit more a little lower with that Now, I am going to drop some hot pink into this. 
this. So we're throwing that neon pink in a couple areas up top and then we're just going to come in with this teal on the bottom. This is our horizon line here so we want to make sure to get some of this down. sign there we've got some pinks in the sky they're real subtle uh, we kind of want them to be that way Basically just mimicking this in the water, 
with uh, fan brush and you don't want it to be as um, defined um, as you are with the top pieces. There's water, so it's not going to have exact, you know, because of the the wind or whatever. So this one <clears throat> got a little bit less down there, so I'm going to come through with where the actual land is. Be a little bit darker as you get closer to the land and a little bit faded out as you get further away so just used on the other piece this had a little little different texture to it and I liked kind of how it laid out towards the edges of the tree And again, these are not going to be as defined in the water as they are up top, so we don't really have to use, you know, super dark blacks, you know, on these. Um, they're just going to be kind of a ripple reflection, so they don't have to be as defined. A little darker towards the land, a little more faded as you get to the, towards the top here.
I want all the trees to be the same, so kind of chunky vary. I, I like to vary kind of where I start and where I stop and kind of come in with a little different pattern each time. You don't always start at the bottom, don't always start at the top. Just kind of gives you a little different pattern as you go. Never, uh, never put stars in the sky, so. Definitely have to uh, go back over this one because this has got some speckled stars in it. That's okay. Forget to switch your brush, flip it over if it's starting to arc a little bit. You definitely don't want an upward arc like this way on a, on a branch that is the opposite up top. Like, that just look wacky as all get. Don't want any of that malarkey on there. All right, here we go, last one. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Still got a bunch of white on my hands here, so I'm gonna go wash that off here in a second. Love it, love it, I love it. Purple, I got some rays in there. Neat, neat, neat. And.
put a little bit of black um, low lights back here just because that is such a dark area um, and it will highlight and you'll be able to see some of the black um, as it kind of dries and bubbles up you'll see some some waves of that so don't really want super stark white back here um, don't really want super stark white anywhere just kind of blend some of that as we go through purples super cool yeah 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 <clears throat> right, I mean, Ken, if you'd like to come in a little bit on some of these, let's throw some highlights, a little bit of white. You don't like it go over it with black <laughs> i mean pretty simple you know plus this nighttime sky is so dark and you, know, you can't really see what's going on up there looks like could be a really high tree in there you know you don't even know Just little hints of white kind of on the edge of those branches. So I'm not really going to get much on that one. Just a little dabs right there. Cool. I like it. 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 Cool. There we are. Woo! Yeah. You pulled it off. Looks awesome. I like it a lot. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, definitely have <clears throat> kind of duplicated in similarities uh, what we did um, last night um, with our, our uh, teal piece there. Uh, let me get this up here, hold on a second. Bear with me. But we added some pink to the sky this time. It's, not, it's kind of subtle, um, you can't really see it, but it does have that aurora feel to it. And you do have this, the stars in the sky kind of a Milky Way feel to it. Um, and the trees do have a little bit of shadow, or uh, excuse me, highlight on them. Uh, water is a little less ripply, um, less teal in the water. I like it this way, like a little white. It's got the bands of almost like a, a storm, you know, glowing coming in. And there's pinks in there too, so you can get really close, you'll see there are pinks 
um, in through and between these bands of, of teal. Um, and I love it, it's a super cool piece. Um, definitely got, uh, got that whole figured out. <laughs> but I uh, appreciate you guys being here tonight. Um, like I said, um, totally feeling a, a, a totally new aura and a, and a, a transition in, in time with things that are just feeling great. I feel awesome, um, totally motivated and excited about life and uh, you guys should be as well. So um, put on your fuzzy socks and, and curl up and, and have a great rest of your night. Um, and uh, I love you guys. All right, bye.